And now we turn to news of the day on the Michael Savage podcast. And I'm going to begin with my website, michaelsavage.com, because I tend to collect, I think, the most important stories. So my headline is, watch Minneapolis again, National Guard deployed after fatal police shooting. Nobody wants to see police shootings. This was not an innocent man. He was fleeing the police and he was a wanted felon. Don't buy the lie that he was just pulled over for an air freshener in the back seat. That's the Antifa Ku Klux Klan types again. They're wearing black hoods, not white hoods, but they may as well be the same. I'm sick of this. A federal judge was run over and killed in Florida by a woman who said Harry Potter did it. Take a look at the pictures. You'll see what I'm talking about. Another story on michaelsavage.com. South African variant infects vaccinated people eight times more. What? Breaking update. Breaking update. COVID update. The South African variant of the COVID-19 virus infects those people who have been vaccinated eight times more. You want to look at that story together? Let's look at that story together. It's in the Washington Examiner. It's an important story because I am not an anti-vaxxer, but I'm not taking this vaccine. I'll tell you that right now. It's unproven, untested. You are the guinea pigs. I don't care who you are. A new study from Tel Aviv University and Israel's largest healthcare provider said the South Africa variant of the coronavirus might evade the Pfizer vaccine. That's the headline. It looked at 400 people who tested positive for the coronavirus despite it receiving at least one dose of the Pfizer bio and tech vaccine and compared the prevalence of the South African variant with the same number of people who have not yet received any vaccination. And what did they find? Quote, we found a disproportionately higher rate of the South African variant among people vaccinated with a second dose compared to the unvaccinated group, said Mr. Adi Stern of Tel Aviv University. What does it mean? It means the South African variant is able to some extent to break through the vaccine's protection. But not only that, there's more. Not only could the variant break through protections offered by the Pfizer vaccine, but it uniquely affects those who have been vaccinated around eight times higher than those who have not received the vaccine. Did you hear this? Stern said the result came as a surprise based on larger patterns. He said, based on patterns in the general population, we would have expected just one case of the South African variant, but we saw eight. He said, obviously, this result didn't make me happy. 